What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Sunday, October 9th, 2022. And I'm just out here watching some Pennsylvania elk. We got a full moon tonight, guys. Check that out. And there is a bull down there. I can hear him bugling. Look at that moon. The moon is just incredible. It's just so bright. It's just insane. Look at how bright that moon is, guys. It's just a beautiful full moon tonight. I always wondered if there were any aliens or military bases on the moon. Just beautiful. Look at that, guys. Absolutely incredible. So hopefully we'll see some bulls tonight. We'll see them fighting maybe. The rut is still going strong here in north central Pennsylvania. Last night there was a hard frost and freeze. Temperatures got down to around 30 in many areas. And right now it is in the mid 40s. It's nice and crisp. The leaves are changing color. Everything is yellow, orange, and red. Deer season and bear season is starting soon. So hopefully we'll see some elk, guys. Hopefully we'll see some big bulls fighting. That's what I'm looking forward to. I saw a fight a couple weeks back. There were actually two big bulls fighting and hopefully I'll see some more fighting tonight. Hopefully I'll see a fight up close. That would be amazing. So let's see what we can find guys. And let's see, I heard that bull down there somewhere. Yeah, there's a bull down there. You can hear him bugling. Got some elk down there. Some cows. Got some elk over here, guys. Looks like cows. I don't see a bull anywhere, but I hear a bull. I'm going to use my bugle tube and try to call the bull, see where he is. Just heard a bugle far off in the distance. Let's keep going. Yeah, we got some cow elk over here. This cow is just probably literally 30 yards away. Young cow. And this cooler weather's making them hungry, so. They're just so focused on keeping their bellies full. That's a young cow. Got some more up there. Those cows are probably like 50 yards away, I would say. So there's that young cow over there. Hear me talking. There's the young cow. And then we got a group of cows over there. And that moon is just gorgeous, guys. Look at that moon. And here we 
get those group of cows. I don't see a bull anywhere and I bugled so if I bugled and nothing responded that means there's no bull around because it's the rut now so if there was a bull he would bugle. So pretty cool. I'm literally just 50 yards away not even 30 yards, 40 yards I would say from these cows. Guys, I am literally like 10 yards away from this cow elk. It's just insane. And they're so tame here because this is a piece of private land and it's a refuge so they don't allow hunting here. So all these elk come here and they know that no one's trying to kill them. Except, of course, the uh, bears and coyotes and possibly mountain lions. But it's just incredible how, how close I am. These elk, it's just crazy. I could literally, like, pet it if I wanted to. Look at this. It's just insane. And they're just so massive, you know. They're just so massive. You can hear a bull off in the distance. Hey there! How are you? Hi! Hi there! Hi! Hi! How's your night going? How does that grass taste? Tastes good? Is it fresh? I bet it is. We got some more elk over here. There's a bull somewhere. I can hear him bugling. cows. They're just so quiet too. I don't even know that they're here because they're just so quiet. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Wow, so close. It's just crazy guys. <laughs> See if we can find that bull. I can hear him bugling. That's so funny. That bull is scratching its back with its antler. Look. That is the funniest thing. Literally scratching its back with its antler. Wow. That is just hilarious, guys. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> Wow, that is just so funny. Hilarious. Looks like he's got an itch. That's just so bizarre. Hilarious.
Just scratching his back with his antler. It's so funny. I'm going to use my bugle tube in a second, try to give him a call, see if he calls back. Well, that's just a monster elk, guys. That is literally the funniest thing. Animals are a lot smarter than people think. on the move. I'm going to give him a call in a second. Try to get him to uh, bugle back. Wow. Beautiful antlers. Look at that. Just gorgeous antlers. There's another bull in the distance bugling. I can hear him. I'm probably about a hundred yards away from this one. Maybe 150. Just chilling here, scratching his back. I'm gonna give him a call. Let's give him a call with the bugle tube. Let's see what he does here. I heard another one bugle back, but not this one. Got a smaller bull over here. Can't tell how many points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six. Yeah, he's a nice size. Got some bull elk here, guys. Looks like that six by six is bugling. Yeah, that's a six by six. Young male. There's another bull further out. I can hear him bugling. I think he's going to come over this way soon. Got some cows here. And it's just very dusty here, so that's what you see. It's the dust from the road. Hear that other bull just bugling like crazy. He's further out. You hear those bulls bugling in the back. They're beyond my camera range. But we got that six by six over here. There he is. Just chilling out, eating grass. I 
he's going to be a monster in the next couple of years. If he survives the hunting seasons, he's going to get big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six by six. Yeah. He's got some pretty nice tines too. The tines are getting pretty tall. One, two, three, four, five, six on the other side as well. And there he's got his ladies next to him. Yeah, give him another two to three years and he's going to be a monster. Look at how big his neck is. His neck is extremely muscular and he's got a wide rack. It looks like he's going to try to get it on with his little girlfriend there. He's got a pretty wide rack. Pretty, pretty wide rack, and he's got a good amount of tines on him. Six by six. Let's go check out what some of the other bulls are doing. Another bull down there, but I can't get him on camera. He's too far away. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, he's down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to see him from this far. The flashlight's just not bright enough. But that's a big bull down there. going to use my bugle tube
answered me, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. There's that big bull down there somewhere. Let's try to zoom in and see if we can see him. And he picks up his head so we oh yeah there's one looks like a young one young bull there's a bigger one somewhere nearby There's that six by six. He's just eating grass. Wow, did you guys hear that? That bull responded to my call. It's like a chain reaction. Once one bull bugles, then all the bu... You can actually hear some coyotes. It's like a chain reaction. When one bull bugles, any bull in the area bugles also.
got a bull over here, guys. I think the one that was scratching its back. I'm going to try to call it in closer. Yeah, that bull's down there. I'm gonna try to call him in closer. Got that young bull there. Seen him around here quite a lot. It's just a little five by five. I don't know where that other bull is. Oh yeah, there he is. down there. Just checking out this logged out area here. I don't see any elk. But check this out. We got a nice rub here on this sapling. Look how high up they rub these trees. It's like a good eight feet off the ground. You can see it's rubbed up. Check that out. They're just so massive. But nothing out here. I can hear There's a bull really close in the woods here somewhere. I'm going to try to call him. That's the funniest thing, guys. There's an elk and a cat. That's so funny. And the elk and the cat were just hanging out together. I'm not sure if you guys got to see that or not. Funniest thing ever. That was the funniest thing, guys. The cat and the bull elk just hanging out together. That was just hilarious. We got some elk. We got deer. There's the deer up there. Look how much smaller the deer look compared to the elk. It's just so funny. Elk looks so massive compared to the deer. Looks like a bunch of does. And then there's that big cow elk and then looks like that's her daughter there. <laughs> and they're just grazing on the grass here. And then we got a bunch of white-tailed deer up there. 
Look at the difference in size though between the deer and the elk. It's just crazy. Huge difference. And the deer are working their way downhill towards that elk. Huge difference in size. Huge difference. Looks like we got three does there. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to see more of my Pennsylvania elk videos, check out my Pennsylvania elk playlist. I'll leave a link in the top right corner of the video. Stay tuned to my channel for more Pennsylvania elk footage and more outdoors footage. Take care, may God bless you, may God bless America. And don't forget the three P's. Prepare, practice, and persevere. how close this elk is guys I'm literally just five feet away from this young bull wow he's just sitting here crazy can't believe how close I am <laughs> it's just incredible that's a really young bull but he looks healthy Wow, just can't believe how close he is. Wow, look at this, wow. It's just incredible. And they're just so massive. Even this young bull just looks so big in person. It's just incredible how big they are. <laughs>